all native tears here. Um, I haven't done a, hadn't planned on doing a video. I'm going to do a video response to Ozark Living Homestead. He's doing a giveaway for and shout outs for some, some of us smaller channels. Um, help us network together and get some more views and get to know each other and grow our communities. Um, so here's my shout out. It's going to be Ann Crumb's Mini Homestead. Um, they've got property and they're moving off grid. They do updates on um, how their building's going and getting the move done and they've got pigs and goats and chickens. Uh, she does food prep and canning, um, off-grid cooking for the ladies. Um, so, yeah, I'll uh, link it down below. I'm going to be on this side of the camera tonight, today. Um, there's a long story there. Uh, my face is kind of swollen. thought maybe it was a spider bite three doctors later this week already and maybe have to go to an ENT facial surgeon tomorrow if it's not better. Apparently I have some type of infection in a gland and so yeah I'm not putting me on camera today. So we'll walk around the garden and shout out to um, Ozark Living Homestead. Go by and check out his channel. And I've been making preps for fall and cleaning everything up and these are new cucumber pickling cucumber plants and that I put out and they're doing all right um, no cucumbers yet we'll see it's a little late for them um, my golden jubilees are still doing really well my cotton plant is getting up there and I have a ton of cotton pods on it. Yay. Um, yeah, I'm starting my to get ready for fall. So I'm doing the, I'm going to do the no-till again. And so I'm going to expand it instead of this corner only. I'm going to move it all the way out and do it no-till all the way across this end. Um, my other patch of okra. Yeah, I got some that needs to come off of here, too. And I got a pickle just, or a cucumber just now. Here's another cotton plant. My heirloom that got knocked down in the storm. Kale. Peppers. These are green peppers. Um, that's where my spaghetti squash was, my corn was, and I have beans that I had planted in the corn. So I went out and I picked some today and I got a pot full. Um, I think that's watermelon over there. Some more okra. Uh, and then this is that. Rutgers that I bought for shoot I think it was a dime and it was dead well it's here on the cage now so we got that much and it's up out of the cage and so yay I'm hey for a dime I'm not out much my peppers still have gotten a few pepperoncinis off that one and this bean I harvest today too and there's a ton in there you can't see them but just a ton and I got a pot's worth it's my seven headed mammoth sunflower um so yeah that's it I'm just trying to get it ready for fall get the soil conditioned start conditioning it for next growing season I don't think I'll be growing anything this winter my tomatoes I'm making a comeback. We harvested everything and it looks like my Juliet's are gonna put out again. I thought that well and so is this early girl. 
It's putting more tomatoes on it. Basil did great. It's gone to seed. Still getting a few cucumbers here and there. So that's it. Check out uh, check out Ann Crumb's mini homestead. Um, Ozark living homestead. And uh, Morning Glory. I'll try to link hers too. She's always so bright, happy, and cheerful. And she does gardening. I think she raises uh, rabbits and something else I can't remember right now. But yeah, she's always bright and cheerful. Always happy. And she gets her kids involved. I love to be in the garden with her, helping her. So those are my shout outs and uh, y'all have a good day and let's hope they're not cutting on my face tomorrow. And uh, I'll be back to being on that side of the camera soon when I don't look like I have an alien on my face. So uh, have a good evening. Have a blessed evening. Do something kind for a stranger. Thank a veteran. And don't forget our boys and girls deployed. Have a good one.